Hello, in this video we're going to look at generating adverse event summary reports using R that are imported into LaTeX. Now there are functions out there that generate nice tables and outputs that you can input into LaTeX, but I always found them a little bit confusing. And so I created my own, and that's what we're going to recover. There's essentially two functions that, that we're going to look at. One is an AE summary. So just whatever adverse events you put in, it summarizes it in a nice, pretty table. And I actually can't wait till you see the LaTeX output. Now, sometimes you want to subset those tables and maybe look at just the serious adverse events. So you use the same function ae.summary but you only put in the serious adverse events and it summarizes that table in a, in a very nice uh, display and that's what we're going to go through now we're not going to go through the specifics in this video so I'm going to output my program and the function so you can copy and paste and use it but this is more of a video to show you what's out there and what can be done and if you want in the comments please uh, ask for me to you know maybe highlight or provide more detail on a specific aspect of this so the first three lines I like to remove all existing objects and that's what this does so I'm starting from a clean slate so sometimes if you run and rerun and copy and pay you know you can trump certain objects and this just removes them so it starts from square one uh, the tech output is where all the outputs gonna go so we can import it into LaTeX quite easily the source contains the AE summary functions that we're gonna use here and again all this will be provided in the comments then we create sort of a dummy AE file and it's all I say there's 500 subjects and then I generate things randomly and then I even uh, blank out a couple terms like they weren't coded and we'll see what the table does now in LaTeX to create data for a table let's say there's four columns you need four pieces of information separated by ampersand signs and that's LaTeX code for a table entry with you know with four columns for instance but you need to tell LaTeX that you're starting that table and it's the same code for you know each table that I'm creating so I'm going to create a table header function that I can just call and don't have to repeat you know that um, command each time now here I want to create an AE summary table so the output is going to go to AE summary dot tech and it needs to be dot tech because that's what LaTeX reads in that assumes it's it's LaTeX commands and that's what we're creating here now the header for each table in in my outputs are exactly the same except for the top bit where the caption you know the square brackets what goes in the uh, table of contents and what goes in the braces is is the caption above the table and that changes for each table so I kinda have to put those separate and then I say ta tab header and then the AE summary function has four variables here system organ class preferred term subject and treatment and those are all from the adverse events data set and remember that not every subject in your study will have an adverse event and so the number of subjects in this data set are a subset of all the subjects in the study now eat a subject can have multiple records in an adverse event data set and that's fine but these four come from the adverse event table now the next two are the subject original and the treatment original and those are from like the your ad atom subject level data set where it has every subject and every treatment assignment associated with that subject and the next four you don't need to include because it defaults to these it defaults to one decimal it adds an all patients column that's the true part and the high frequency true means it sorts 
the table based upon what adverse events have highest frequency. Otherwise, it's alphabetical. So we run that, and it's that fast. Whether it's 100 or 500 or 2,000 records in that AE data set, it's so fast. And then generating the AE table in LaTeX is really fast. Here's an, another setting that we're going to look at where we just do the serious adverse events. So we only, it's the same command, except for we need to enter only the serious adverse events. So we do some subsetting where it only sends the adverse events with a, a serious adverse event equal to yes. Now notice that the subject original and subject, subject treatment, or the treatment original, are the same because the number of subjects in the study didn't change. So we don't change that. We're going to send it to SAE summary. Um, this second caption changes because we're now summarizing serious adverse events. So let's run that. Boom, done. The next type of table would be a targeted adverse event table. So if you want to look at only high cholesterol, high triglycerides, high HDL level, or maybe high lipid levels, you know, targeted adverse events, then it's the same thing. You create a table. I'm going to send it to targeted adverse events summary.tech. The caption for the table heading is different, so I have to change that. Otherwise, it's the same. Use the same AE summary function, but I only send it the AEs that I'm targeting. So I subset on system organ class 2, 4, 6, and 8, whatever they are. So, and then that's what sends is sent to the summary. And I can't wait till you see the LaTeX output. It's so impressive. Um, here, it's another function. It's called AE percent summary. So those are the two functions that we're looking at in this video. Here, we only want to report the adverse events that happen over a certain percent in our study. So I, you know, sometimes companies want to report only the adverse events that happen 1% or more of the time, or 2%. And I've done a report where it, they only wanted 5% or more. And, but you get to pick the number. I think it's, you know, dependent upon company and maybe disease area. I picked 2.5 because I, it, it was a middle value and it'll filter a lot and but include still include some and you get a taste for this function so the AE percent summary has the same exact variables or parameters I should say in the function now I left off the three the default and the only additional command is this number and I put in 2.5 because that's I want 2.5 or more so plug it in now the only other thing that I'd like to show you is we use the generic treatment A and treatment B, but what if we wanted to um, change it, call it placebo and active, or you know, you name a specific drug and placebo, how would we do that? Well, we, we're going to have to use the factor command. So factor turns our character variable into a factor. And these were the levels, treatment B and treatment A. And notice that I sort of have them reversed here, treatment B and treatment A. So I want this one listed on the table first, this one second, of course, then following is the all patients. And the labels that I want associated with those is placebo and active. And so I have to do that for the original table. Now here I'm calling it the same name, so I don't have to change the header. But if I use a different variable name, then in the header that I have up top, there's a specific spot where you'd have to change that variable name. So I did So to not have to do that, I just call it the same thing. So I I recreate these variables with as factors, but using these labels. And you'll see what happens. I I put the output in percent three a. The AE percent summary function is the exact same one we used up top, but I used 3 instead of 
and I use the same variables. And of course, I change the treatment and the treatment original to use these factors. Um, so let's run that. And we're done. So I've created all the tables. And, and so now we go to LaTeX. And here is, is LaTeX. And again, I will. This is a, a text file, so I'll copy and paste it into the comment section, so you can use it. And we're not going to cover LaTeX in this video, but I want to show you some of the awesome features. It, I mean, it's so functional, and, and I don't know why more people don't use LaTeX, to be honest. So you have to what's called a preamble. So you have to set LaTeX up. You want you know a title. The author, the day you want to begin the document, um, and I won't go over that actually. Um, we'll look at the report in a second. So, these are the things that I wanted to show you here. So, these are the commands. So, remember we sent the input to AE summary tech. So, you just say input, and boom, it there's your table. And actually, once you create this table, you don't have to change it. So if the data set changes, you run R, then you just you rerun LaTeX, and it automatically generates. Um, and I I start with a new page because I want the you know top of the table on a new page. And these next two commands are here because if if we want a table in landscape or portrait, then we have to tell it. Actually, if it's in portrait, we don't really need to do this. But if you're switching between portrait and landscape and portrait and landscape, then you have to tell it and then you have to recalculate that area. And so the report can actually intermix portrait and landscape using these functions. So we have AE summary, a, uh, SAE summary, targeted adverse event summary, percent summary, and percent three summary. So when we run this, and I use the shortcut F5 and boom it generated. Now here's the table. It creates a report. A uh, Oh actually let me it automatically creates a PDF that you can use. Let's just open that because it's going to be bigger. So here is the beginning using R and LaTeX to create as adverse event reportings. Here's the table of contents, and I'm adding the table of contents. There's only one section, adverse events. Now the next video will have baseline measurements or descriptive. We're gonna, I'm gonna add to this as we go along. But right now there's only adverse events. The tables that we've created are those, and it tells you automatically tells you what page they're on. Now the, um, I have some words about, you know, some of the features. The types of tables we're creating here are the three options that I was telling you about: number of decimals, the all patients column total, high frequency, etc. And here's the here's the table summary. So treatment A and B and the all patients. There were 500, and they, this was randomly generated. Look at that. Now, in in a couple weeks, if more data is added to this table, added to the AE table and to the subject level table, I just rerun the same program and it updates. So then maybe there's 600 patients and I just rerun LaTeX. Everything is sort of semi-automatic. So this, this is the default report. It tells you the overall number of patients in the AE table, number of events, and then it, then it sorts it based upon the highest percent of system organ class. So this is 2.8, this is 2.6. Now within each it could be a little bit different. Number of events, here's the preferred terms, and it just does it for each. Oh, notice that there's a little gap here. And the reason is it knew that the next one was too long for that little section and it would have had to break it. So it stops and just continues on the next page. See table one continued. That is a cool feature. That is so cool. So then it just keeps going. Now the um, that's it. Let's see how long this is. 
oh remember I created some not coded events and it found them and it puts not coded and actually that could be a, a trigger in your AE data set to tell the medical director that he or whoever codes adverse events that they're not quite finished there's one left you can add footnotes to say what data sets use cutoffs you know etc now here is the serious adverse events so it's actually the same setup but we're only using serious adverse events and it's all serious adverse events so the number of patients it went down you know the system organ classes um, are the same but I want to note here note that um, well, there's only two in in system organ class but this little bit is is too small for the next section so it has to put it on the next page and there we go now here's the targeted adverse events only two four six and eight and I sorted it by high frequency so that's what we get the next one is the uh, percent table so it only prints out ones that are two are above two and a half percent so this is the number of patients but it's also um, I'll show you in a second so here the you know the we have something over 2.5 percent so it prints everything in that system organ class so you can kind of see that you know the preferred terms within that system organ class now here it does the same it's above 2.6 and, and the next one I think is what I want to show you here yeah now look this is 2.4 but within treatment B it's 2.7 which is over 3 and that's why it included everything here because there was in this system organ class for treatment B it was over two and a half percent and then we it's the same for all those now notice here oh this this is a little odd on the end of the table but you know we'd have to do something to change that but note treatment A is 243 treatment B is 257 because the next table remember we format the treatment assignment and switch it so this is that we look at three percent or more but notice that these switched right because I I, uh, I coded the uh, factor statement and had them switch now these are only uh, AEs over three percent so this made it right there so it prints everything within that system organ class and and that's it well I sure hope you enjoyed this I did now in the comment section if you want to see something in more detail anything specific from this uh, just let me know and we'll do it so that's all I have hope you enjoyed it I sure did please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one Thanks. Bye.